down. We are 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition, start, and we have liftoff of an ILS Proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan with the Viasat-1 satellite on board. In about 10 seconds after liftoff, the rocket does a roll maneuver and will soon experience max dynamic Q uh, or max dynamic pressure. This is the maximum aerodynamic load on the vehicle that corresponds to about Mach 1.6 and occurs about one minute and three seconds after liftoff. Jim, this has been probably one of the prettiest nights I have seen one of these rockets go up. The moon, the sky, it's just perfect. It's always good when Mother Nature cooperates with you. It's difficult enough launching a rocket, but to have a beautiful night, beautiful weather, and of course the added dimension of the moon, just wonderful. So far, so good, it looks. So far, so good, as our Russian colleagues say. Uh, everything seems to be proceeding nominally as the vehicle heads in an easterly direction with a flight azimuth of about 61.3 degrees. We're coming up on the first stage's separation from the second stage. That is set to occur at two minutes into the flight. We're about 40 seconds away. As you can see from the video, the trail from the engines, engines looks very, very good. Okay, at this point, uh, we're just waiting on, on the first stage to complete and waiting for confirmation of separation, which should be coming along very shortly. We can see from the trail, the first stage is burned out. And we have confirmation of a good separation between the first and second stages. The second stage engines actually ignite while still attached to the first stage, and the exhaust from those engines escapes through the open grid work between the stages.